Okay, we're back here at um, 304 Dead Tree. This is a double deep nuke. This is the one that had uh, four frames in the top and four frames in the bottom. And we're going to go in there and see what's happening now. I don't remember if we put a frame in there or not. But we're going to find out. Y'all can go ahead and give us a thumbs up and a good comment while we're waiting here. See, the last time we was in on this one looks like it was on uh, the 7th of this month. The Mark Queen has eggs larvae brood. Yep. This is the one that we didn't put a frame in. The bottom or the top. And we're going to see what they did with it all. Another thing about these feeder boards I got here, he gives the bees a place to um, go and get cool on these hot South Carolina days that we have. And in the wintertime we'll still put some on, we'll just put one on it because we'll be using dry sugar. And we'll talk about that when we get there. This one has two six and a quarter inch, inch honey frames. Had somebody ask what the difference was in them, and uh, said they used just supers. When I started, I got three ten frame hives. I didn't know anything about supers and honey and stuff like that. We just needed bees out here where I was at. But, our favorite military base right here behind me that we're boarded up to. They uh, they needed a new road to put a satellite system in and they sprayed a bunch of poison out there to kill the bugs. But that's that one. It has some nectar, pollen. And that's it. This next one here is a honey frames. I know a lot of people, they uh, they raise their bees, they use the six and a quarter inch here instead of the nine and an eight for a brood frame, and that's fine, that's fine, just whatever you can, you can deal with, but the thing is, this frame here and this frame here, the deep one, it's only three inches different, but they cost the same, and when I was selling bees a lot, 10 frame is all I was pretty much doing unless somebody wanted to. This one here has some honey and some nectar. No bugs. This next one is a super frame. I probably put a couple frame frames in here. We'll see what we got. What they're doing on it, they're thinking about it. They're walking around up there. But they haven't built any wacky cone or, you know, stuff like that. They don't always do that. If you've got a hive that has a whole bunch of bunch of bees in it, yeah, you might want to. Put another frame in there to keep it all healthy. You know, this one down here has four frames. Now, this one here is a fat frame. honey on it. It has honey and nectar and pollen. A little fat, so I don't know exactly what we're going to put in there. You see over here where it's fat. Er. But 
glad I'm good clean. No bugs. I tell y'all my bees are real calm. I know the small one we don't use smoke on it too much. I got a lot of bees in it now. I'll smoke them to keep them from rolling. This one here has brood, eggs, larvae. Brood, eggs, larvae. Empty queen cup and honey. That was laid up both sides. Y'all see that? See where we are? Yeah. That's them, but all that's laid up. They've got all their pine straw that falls out of the feeder. They got it right down here. This is there on the entrance. I don't know if y'all can see that. This one is laid up with egg, blue, pollen, nectar. We're not looking for the queen anymore. This side over here is loaded up too. Both sides. This one is laid up, got some honey, some nectar, some pollen, some eggs. Both sides. So see all they need to do now is move up to the top. can do here. Um, let me go see what I got as far as another frame. And I'll be right back. Okay. What we got here I forgot to cut the camera. I moved these two frames here. Move these two frames here from over here to here. But we're going to put this one in here. And what we're going to do first is spray. Not because they're being mean, but because there's a lot of bees in here. And we don't want to roll none of them. Got to quick dig it on there. Drop it right there. Okay. So now the bottom is filled up. Okay. We're gonna get. Them. 
handy. Wait to see how to do it. This one, put it up here. Come on, girls. Okay, we have a frame here that came from a dead out and it was in the freezer and everything in it now is dead it has some brood in it that they'll clean out but up here is where it was robbed out this brood down here is dead so they'll clean it all out and on that side and then they'll continue working on that frame now what we're going to do here is put it here Got honey frame here, empty frame here, and then this one going right here. No bugs, no whack moths. Another thing you do with the wax moths, if you don't have a freezer, you don't have room in a freezer is uh, you can take that frame, like these two frames I got down here that I'm going to put in the freezer and just leave them out and uh, it'll kill the beetles, I mean the wax moths it don't hurt the beetles, but it'll kill the wax moths put that there, we all can go home okay, y'all need to get out of there so you don't drown bees that get up here to where the the bees and beetles they'll get up here where the opening is mm -hmm. and then when I put the food in there they don't come out beetles will come out the bees they normally don't Get them some food, get them a quart and a half of sugar syrup. This is stuff that Dixie Crystals mixes up. I got strung. But Bob of Walker Bee Ranch, he kind of got us turned on to it, and somebody told him that's the way we do bee things. People tell people things instead of saying, oh, that's my secret. Yeah. All right. And we put that back on there. 
and that's it. So y'all saw about the building wacky cone. Y'all give us a comment, subscribe, thumbs up, share, be happy, weekends are coming. Just be careful out there people. We'll talk to you next week too. Bye.